Hi and welcome back. In this episode we'll be talking about lighting. Um, lighting is really important to any display. Um, you can see that from the, uh, the original that video we, uh, we put in there at the beginning to just give you a little uh, sample of uh, how we might do some lighting. Um, it's always been uh, for me the biggest uh, stress and, and pain when, when doing a setup. It's just a um, matter of uh, where you're gonna put out the lights, how you're gonna run the extension cords, how you're gonna plug everything in. It just always seemed like such a headache. Um, and um, originally we would use uh, spotlights, traditional spotlights, which are very hot. Um, one time a figure actually fell over onto one of the lights and caught on fire. Um, they use a lot of electricity. That, um, uh, and then there's always the, the trouble of, of having to plug them, plug them all in. And it was just, it's always been a, been a hassle and always something I kind of dread when you're doing a setup. It's like, oh, I gotta go through all the plugs and figure out where everything's gonna go. Um, so I always kind of wanted it. I always had a goal that, you know, I should just be able to put a light where I want it and, have light something the way I want to light it creatively this is what I want it to look like and not have to be you know concerned with the details of you know, where's a plug where's an extension can I reach here can I reach there oh I can't reach to that oh I got to move something you know all that stuff um and originally my my first uh early haunts um I used uh, LEDs um quite a bit I um I really thought they were they were pretty cool and I could use them to to create the lighted eyes, and I, I wrote, made some um, some lanterns with lights in them. Um, but the way I did it then uh, was that they were powered by batteries. Small, each one would have a small battery pack with a with an on-off switch, um, and it just became uh, just a hassle. Um, I switched to, to uh, rechargeable batteries, which is better, but then still you had to charge all these batteries up and and um and put them all in and then and then every time you wanted to to put on the lights you'd have to go out and flip all these switches on and then at the end of the night flip them all back if you didn't the batteries die uh and then you're charging more batteries again and um it just became such a, a hassle that I eventually even would only just turn them on, on on halloween night and not use them really and then it after a while the wires would break come apart and they need repair and i didn't even bother repairing them because it just became too much so so they kind of fell out of use um then in the last couple of years looking at more and more videos online and getting ideas from from other people i saw a, a bunch of different uses for for leds um to create some lighting uh, and I started to get some ideas and I started to to put a few things together that I saw in different places um, and uh, one of the biggest things okay I gotta grab a uh, plug here let it that out uh, one of the biggest things that I saw um, that really uh, really got me thinking was these little uh, little power brick things that most people have all over the place uh if you're like me probably not um i always kind of collected these when i had an old uh cordless phone or whatever that i would throw away i always kind of kept these cords um because i always felt i could use them again or something else would come up that, that they could use them uh so i had them laying around and then i saw for example this one is two amps um puts out 12 volts um, and it's the amazing thing about these is really the, the, uh, the magic of them is that it takes the, uh, 110 volt AC, uh, house current and makes a 12 volt DC current. Um, if you go back to the uh, intro video, you know, I have no electric electronics or, um, electrician experience and so messing with uh, AC current is just always makes me uh, makes me freak out and I don't really want to mess with that stuff um, but DC current you know I'm all on all on board for that that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty safe and straightforward so I'm, I'm happy with that so if, when I realize it um, this is two amps 
which is uh, not to bore everyone with uh, math and all that, but two amps, which is um, 2000 milliamps, um, and an average LED is about five milliamps. Um, so if you even put, say, 80% of capacity on this, 80% of the 2,000, 1,600 milliamps you could run on it, that means you could run about 320 LEDs off of this. Um, and if I started to come up with an idea for a spotlight like this, um, with five LEDs in it, that means I could run about 64 of these spotlights off of one plug. Now, I'd have to be lighting up Disney World to have to imagine that I could use more than 64 spotlights in my display. So to me, that was amazing. I, I couldn't imagine. You mean I can run my whole display off of one plug? That would be amazing, you know? Um, now, I wouldn't, and I haven't. I usually still use three or four, but still, even three or four is fantastic. Um, so then I also started to see that you could use, since this is just low voltage, you can use regular speaker wire, which I've now begun buying in bulk. Um, using speaker wire and um, the other the other key element that I came across was uh, these little uh, RCA jacks. Now, if you're old enough, like me, that you remember having stereos, um, or even, God forbid, VCRs, that kind of stuff. These jacks you had all the time. Everything you had plugged in with these jacks. Um, so they were like standard stuff. So then when I started imagining well, you could have, you know, you could have spotlights, you can use speaker wire, RCA plugs, you can plug these things in, have the wires as long as you need them, put them wherever you want. You know, that's kind of, that meets my goal there. Hey, you could, you could have a light wherever you want. I don't have to worry about the cords. I don't have to worry about the power. It's all DC, low voltage. I'm not going to overload the circuit. I'm not going to blow fuses. Um, that was, that was really exciting. Um... So think of that. So last year, um, last year, uh, 2021, I started to experiment with this and I made some couple of these, uh, these spotlights and, um, and then I started to, to worry about it. Um, I made some of these plugs too. I made plugs like this. If you can see, I bought a couple of these. Now it took me a long time. I spent most of the, uh, the winter researching parts and finding out where I could get all these pieces um, and I can I'll put links to all those in the uh, description so you can see there's probably about a dozen different little you know things when I started to go through it whoops um, that um, that I needed as far as to make one of these as far as um, the plugs I had the stake here I had a funnel for the uh, for the base uh, the LEDs themselves, of course, uh, even the screws and the wing nut here. Um, so all of it I, I, I bought. I, I kept the links for it so I could go back. Um, anyway, so I, I, I put the RCA things, uh, plugs, in this kind of six-pack um, six configuration. Um, I wired them up and, uh, and had them ready to go. And... Uh, had some lights and I was, you know, by the time uh, Halloween came around 2021, I started to have doubts and oh, these wires are going to come apart. It's maybe it's not even worth it. Even after all the work I did, I'm going to have to be out there, you know, checking wires, the things it's not going to work well and it's just going to be a mess. But um, we started to go ahead with it anyway. Peter J especially said, you know, come on, put them out. Let's put them out there, put them out there. So we put them out there. Uh, and actually they worked great. I couldn't believe how well they worked. Um, there really wasn't any issues with them. And then once we started doing it and we started to imagine how they could work, um, it really became a game changer. And really, I, then I started to imagine, well, I could use these for everything. I could, I could replace those eyes that I had before, 
uh, with these uh, LEDs with a plug and you just plug them in and they're on the circuit, they're on the timer, they come on with all the other lights. Uh, I did lanterns, we started going around and, and doing a whole bunch of stuff uh, on the fly last year. Uh, it really got uh, crazy. We started to imagine anything. Oh, we could do that. We could put lights here. We could put lights there. Uh, the haunted clock we lit up. Uh, we, we put everything up. So that was that was last year. And then coming into this year, 2022, then we really wanted to expand, um, make a lot more lights. I really, my goal was ultimately, which I didn't actually hit, but to really have no other lights except for these. Um, and we still... Well, we had mostly these lights. We still did have some older um, LEDs out there, but it was, I mean, not LEDs, but spotlights that were non-LEDs. Um, but still, I went around and started wiring everything up that I could. Uh, things like this guy here. I took his plug, so he's not uh, not powered on now. Let's plug him back in. Okay, there you can see them light up. I put a green light in there and a uh, and a flicker bulb, so it kind of flickers and it has a greenish look to it. Um, so I just started doing all kinds of stuff like that, um, and also I developed these little boxes here for um, for my outlets. Um, the idea was I put a plug on each end so that I could chain these together. Have them go all over um and again they were self-contained keep the rain out um and, and all that and it, it was um they worked well this year so this year we put them out they worked pretty well uh, there was a few minor issues some of them started to come apart we had to fix the glue and stuff uh now in the off season but um yeah, they worked really well. So, um, like I said, that really became a game changer. We had so many lights. Uh, again, in that little intro video there, you can see the pumpkin lights, that those are all lit up that way as well, um, with one cord coming down. Now, the original, uh, let me get the original here. The original uh, design, the beta version, going back to my uh, computer, uh, my computer references uh, had a cord like this with the plug to go right into the outlet. Um, but then for this year, I decided to change that again, going back to my goal of, you know, I want to be able to plug something in and not have to worry about it because I figured even with that, then you're still bound by that sides of that cord and you're going to plug it in and, oh, it doesn't quite reach where I want it to, whatever. So, so now I've switched everything to have these kind of these plugs where then I can plug end in. I have an end like this and I can plug them in and light it up um, so that every light will have these kind of a small cord here and then I have a whole bunch of cords like this of different lengths whatever length I need. Um, so I made a bunch of these uh, like this that I can put out there. Um, and have you know i marked them up in uh, 20 foot lengths 10 foot lengths eight foot lengths you know five foot lengths whatever um so that whenever i can need i have them on hand or just easily make up some more put them out there and we used a lot of wiring this year that's why again i got a whole nother roll here of uh, speaker wire to go for next year um but really this was an exciting uh an exciting improvement here um, again, I'm not an electrician. I'm not anything, but um, again, I can. Uh, I'll give you all the uh, parts that I used to come up with these. But these little boxes really were um, really were a game changer, and it, um, we did so many things with them. Like the hat box goes now. Basically, everything that that we do in light is going to be lit this way. Um, go right into these plugs. Everything's on a timer. Everything comes on in one shot. Uh, there's nothing out there with individual lights that I have to turn on and off. Um, and I can put lights basically wherever I want, however I want. Um, I made a whole bunch of these and we'll be making more in the, this off season. Um, they got blue ones, green ones, uh, UV ones, uh, which are handy too. Um, the UV, since it's a puts off less light, I put eight bulbs in there eight leds um as opposed to five for these but 
that could you know play around with that. I had, originally had five, but then this year we realized it wasn't quite strong enough, so we, we uh, jumped those all up to eight. Um, now I also have I have yellow ones, I have flicker ones, like I showed you there. We're in the pumpkins um, and in that skull head. Um, so there's lots of different varieties of LEDs that you can get um, for all kinds of different displays. And, um, this has really been uh, exciting for us, so um, it's going to continue again. We have a, some some improvements to make over the over this winter. Like I said, just um, making some more of these boxes, um, just so we have uh, uh, plenty on hand um, come Halloween to put out there. Um, like these, this is one that I have to finish yet. Wire it up, uh, put it in the box, and all that. Um, I want to um, make some more, make some more spotlights again. Cause we didn't quite have enough this year, but um, make some more for next year so that we can um, cover everything that we need. And um, yeah, so that's um, that's basically our lighting. I said it's um, I it was uh, just a, a matter of taking a whole bunch of different ideas um, that I saw here and there, the different things that people had done, but putting it together. Um, with uh, with my own ideas and, and really coming up with something that is a easy to use is um, you know just kind of like plug and play or plug and haunt as we refer to them now um, just have everything easy to plug in uh, has really really been exciting for us and um, and we're excited to continue with this uh, going forward but just um, the things that that you can learn from other people that's really what I got out of it that you know you could take some of these ideas and build on them and, and come up with your own um, with your own system that, that's really what you need um, so anyway that's our that's our video for this week um, hope you enjoyed it if you did please like subscribe um, we're gonna try to have these videos every Friday and then on Wednesdays I have an idea we're gonna do something called uh, way back Wednesday where we're gonna go through some old pictures of, of previous haunts going back starting in uh, 2007 when we first when i first did this um and just look at some of the things that we did and comment on them and say oh that looks like crap why did we do that or whatever or whatever happened to that problem uh, so i think it'll be kind of fun to just do that on wednesdays have a quick video of just looking at some of the old stuff that we did and go through the years uh, so anyway, that's our plan, and we're excited to move forward. Um, like and subscribe, and keep us growing here so we can keep making some more of these videos and, and go through the winter with us, okay? Thank you. Bye.